I feel encouraged. Um, because for every every place where there was a little bit of frustration, we had a place where we definitely saw a spark, a new spark, a new somebody who who got some things figured out. Um, and, and, uh, as we talked about before, that's all I'm looking for is just somebody to give me something to work with, somebody to make us exciting, somebody to stick their nose in and go out there and act like it matters. <laughs> Or, or to trust themselves enough to go put themselves in, uh, in a little bit of trouble and, and uh, try to pull something off, and, and, and that's what we had going on. And so, well, we just have to be patient because we're not as good as we need to be, and we're not as good as I wish we were. I can see it coming, and uh, so I just have to wait. Are there are there any performances you want to talk about that really kind of stood out? True Volts going 525 was a big. I thought that was a big one. Uh, he's been having great practices and been inconsistent in meets for him to come in here. And after a really poor performance last week, he go 525, which was a little PR for him. Uh, uh, Sarah Maxson and I jumped, I think, went for seven years, which was a huge PR for her. Uh, uh, not just an indoor PR, uh, a, a lifetime PR. But J.R. Ricker's 5K, I thought was a really nice 1407, is a really good run. Uh, those guys in the mile last night, Robbie at 403 and, and, and Jason at 404s or Rory at 406. Um, yeah, the two four bangs today, they ran like it mattered. Um, and, and then any number of, of, of four by four carries where people just went out and, and, and tried to do something special. And in some cases they did, in other cases they almost did, but at least they're trying to do what they need to do to be able to move forward. Really nice uh, high jump performance today. You go 178, which is uh, a PR, um, top in the Big Ten, 21st in the country. Talk about how you felt today. Um, I actually was kind of going into the meet just hoping to improve a little bit because um, every week I've jumped, I've improved. Uh, but jumping 178 today was uh, unexpected um, in the sense that I, I, wasn't ex I wasn't expecting to jump and I knew that I was capable of jumping it, but um, just doing it today out of, kind of out of the blue was a big deal and so I was really excited and to be uh, among some of the top jumpers in the country at the moment is uh, pretty honored. I'm pretty honored to be there. Here with uh, J.R. Ricker and a really nice uh, 5K today, 14.07s, top in the Big Ten and third uh, in the NCAA. Talk about uh, the race today. Um, it was a great race. I had, luckily was had um, Andrew Poor pacing me. He was he graduated two years ago and um, he's running for Adidas now. But he is just a really very smooth runner, so it's great. It's easy to run, run right behind him and kind of be relaxed as the race goes on. And so um, it felt great through about 2.5 miles of it and then kind of hurt the last 800. And, um, so I didn't quite, we were kind of trying to go under 14, but didn't hit that, but it was still a great PR and um, another step forward, which is all we can really ask for right now is just continuing to make steps forward. Your teammate last year, Emma, uh, has a real nice jump. She clears 181. Um, talk about just you know continuing to to be with her in practice and uh, how much that's helped you as well. I think uh, I love jumping with Emma. It's always good because I always know that I'll have competition with me, um, and I think that she's pushed me to be a better jumper. And uh, she has such perfect technique uh, that I can sort of model myself after her. So it's nice getting to jump with her and getting her to push me and having the support of a teammate. Because sometimes when you're alone, it's it's kind of hard to really push yourself, but Emma's always there and she's always willing to push me. The group of guys that uh, you know you train with, um, and Robbie and Jason running real fast in the mile the other night, and uh, Matt running a real fast 3K uh, last week. Uh, just talk about the group of guys that you got and how great it is to be able to train with them on a daily yeah. basis. Um, we have an awesome core of guys right now. We have a lot of very, very good young runners, um, a lot of freshmen who are arguably some of the best guys, if not the best on our team. And um, to back that up, we have this guy, Robbie, Robbie Nierman, um, who's an awesome senior leader. He's pretty much all you can ask for as a leader. And so a um, combination of some great freshmen and then some great senior or great senior and leaderships um, makes an awesome group of runners to run with. And we have also have a lot of fit guys right now, so it makes it even that much better.